G'day all, Chris Lewin here from National Operations Network, your security solution specialist. In today's video, I wanted to show you how to add your device to your High Connect app and share with other users. Let me show you how that's done. So here is the login screen. This is what you're faced with once you've logged into your account. You need to ensure you are logged into an account to be able to add a device. From this screen, this is what you'll see if you don't already have an existing system added. If you do, uh, you'll have your systems listed and you'll need to use the plus button up the top right hand corner to add new devices. So we're simply going to press the little button and for this situation, we are going to go by manual adding. This means we're going to manually add the device via the serial number. So here in the serial number text box, we're going to insert the serial number. Once we've imported the serial number, we're going to select the little save button up the top right hand corner. This is now search the device and the device is online and ready to be added. So we're going to select the add button. Once we press that, it's asking for a verification code. For this system and for display purpose, our verification code is in ascending order from one through to eight. Once we've inputted the verification code, we need to press OK. This has verified the system and adding is now complete. We just simply need to select the next button. Here we're faced with the name of the system. This automatically imports the serial number and the model number. However, we can delete this and rename it with our choosing. So for this instance, we're going to call it workshop. Once that's done, we're going to click save. Here is our system sitting under my device is now viewable if we select that, our cameras will load down the bottom right hand corner. To view these cameras more, we need to double click, double click the selected camera. Now that we've added it to your High Connect account, I'm going to show you how to share this to other users. First step to be able to share the device, we need to confirm what the receiving device email address or phone number for High Connect system is. For this, on the receiver's phone, we're going to need to select more option down the bottom right hand corner from the home screen. Then simply select account management. Here it displays email address and phone number. In this instance, we don't have an email address linked, we only have a phone number. This phone number as it displays is exactly how it needs to be typed in to the phone sharing the device. On the phone sharing the device, under my device we need to determine which system we want to share and we need to swipe left on that system. We need to simply click the share button which is the three circles and the lines joining these together. From here we need to select the option up the top where it says email address slash phone number. We're going to input the email address or phone number of the receiver's device. Once we've inputted this we're going to select add recipient. We can put in remarks such as our system we're sharing, but for this example, we're gonna leave that blank and press the tick on the right hand corner. Then down the bottom, we're gonna select next. This has already pre-selected the camera system that we'd like to share. However, we can remove sharing access for specific cameras if we'd like by selecting or unselecting. Once we've done that, we can select next. Here, as you can see, we've allowed all permissions for all cameras. If you'd like this adjusted, you can adjust this to suit your needs. Once we've done that, we're going to select finish down the bottom. So now on the receiving device, when we go back to the main screen, we have a notification of one new share. So we can select view now. We can choose to either accept or reject. In this case, we're going to accept. So now if we select the workshop, we can now view all cameras. If in the instance in the future you would like to remove access of a shared device, from the sending device, you simply select the more option down the bottom right hand corner. Select manage sharing settings. From here, you will see what you are sharing and who you are sharing this with. Simply to remove access, we can select the appropriate line we'd like to remove 
and select delete. Once the shared user refreshes their app, they will no longer have access to the system. Finally, if you have access to the receiver's phone, we're gonna show you how to share via the QR code. So what we need to do to be able to share via QR code is we need the receiver's phone to display the QR code. To do this, we need to select the more option down the bottom right hand corner, select account management and select my QR code. On the sending phone, under my device, we need to slide left on this particular device. We need to simply click the share button, which is the three circles and the lines joining these together. We're gonna to select the option of scan QR code, share device via the QR code of the recipient's account. This will open up our camera, which we're now going to use to scan the QR code. As you can see, it's picked up the recipient which we're going to select next. From here, we have a display of multiple cameras, which we can choose to allow access, or we can remove access by simply deselecting that device. Once we've chosen our required access, we select next. From this screen, we can see all permissions. You can change these permissions if you like. For this example, we're going to allow all permissions and we're going to select finish down the bottom. On the receiving phone, we can now see that we have one new sharing. We'll select view now. We can either reject or accept this share. For this example, we're going to accept. Once we've accepted, back on the main screen, we have the cameras, which we can then log in and view. Thanks for watching this tutorial. We really hope this helped you. If you've got any further questions, please give us a call or head over to our website.